Hey guys, this is Chris here coming to you with another video. And just to let you know right off the start, we're not I'm not here to pitch anything. I'm not here to sell you anything. Today is a training that's strictly value-based. You're going to find this extremely valuable because we're going to actually walk through together ways to re to eliminate, pardon me, self-limiting beliefs. And usually when you're held back in business or you're held back in life, we have these self-limiting beliefs. We may not even be aware of them, but they are holding them back. But don't worry, self-limiting beliefs are actually quite common, but they're hazardous because they actually create a self-doubt within yourself that will hold you back from achieving your full potential. So it's definitely an area that we need to address, especially as entrepreneurs, as we're trying to create a success in life. So when are self-limiting beliefs created? They're not usually something that just pop up. You know, maybe we're going to start a business, all of a sudden, boom, we have the self-limiting belief. They're usually ingrained in us at an early age. They've been formed over the years from our relationship, maybe environmental factors, you know, including things like our relationships with our parents, our peers, even the media can form self-limiting beliefs within us. So now that we kind of understand a little bit about what self-limiting beliefs are, we can actually cleanse our mind from them. We know what we're going to tackle. We know what we're going to work to get rid of. We can empty our cup, so to speak. We can start with a clean slate. And so what, how we're going to do that is actually a four-part process. And what I'm going to need you to do right now is grab yourself a pen and paper. Um, if, if you're at your desk and you have one handy right now, that's great. Um, if not, you can pause the video here and go ahead and grab one. It's really important that you do this exercise because you're going to have a breakthrough and it's going to help you achieve your full potential. But you must do this exercise uh, in order for it to be successful. So if you pause the video and you're back now, that's great. If you're ready to go, that's awesome because we're going to get started. This is a four-part process, as we mentioned before. So what I want you to do on your piece of paper, and I'll work along this with you, I want you to write down a list of three of your self-limiting beliefs. Now, you can do more if you want. You can actually go back to this exercise and tackle more of them if you want. But for now, to keep it simple, let's just tackle our top three self-limiting beliefs. It can be related to your appearance. It can be related to how you handle everyday situations. It could be related to your work. Now, if you're watching this specifically with learning development for business, maybe you want to think about your attitude or your beliefs with regard to that situation. Uh, for example, you might have the self-limiting belief that I'm poor and I'm always going to be poor. So that would be one that I'd want you to write down. And then beside that, I want you to write why you think that or why you allow that to pop into your head. So I'm going to give you 30 seconds here. I want you to go ahead and do that right now. Uh, if you need more time than 30 seconds, there will be a 30 second break here. But if you need more time, pause the video. Make sure you complete this step because this is the first part and it's very important. Okay, I'll see you in 30 seconds. All right, it's been about 30 seconds, so welcome back. And now on the paper in front of you, you should have a list of about three things. If you chose to do three things or you chose to do more, and these should be your three, probably the first self-limiting beliefs that you come in, that popped into your mind. And beside that, you should have um, why you think them or why you allow them to pop into your mind at any given time. So that's where we're going to go from there. Now, I want you to do a second list. Take your pen out again. And in this list, I want you to write down the desires of what you want most in life. And then match that desire 
with the self-limiting belief. Let's, let's use a quick example here if they find that confusing. For example, if your desire is a wish for more money, maybe you match it to the belief that really holds you back from obtaining that goal. And that's going to be different for everybody. So it's going to be personal to you, but you're going to have some self-limiting belief that's holding you back from obtaining a specific goal. So I'm going to give you a little bit more time here. I'm going to give you another 30 seconds to write down a list of your desires and match those with a self-limiting belief. And then when I come back, we're going to go through the next step of the process. So I'll see you in 30 seconds. Again, welcome back. You should have a second list done up of what you want most out of life and you should have matched your self-limiting belief with that desire of what you wanted most out of life. So you should have that second list and we're going to do one more list, just one more. And this one is going to create the change in your mind. It's going to rewrite some patterns. So this list is actually going to be a list of exceptions. You should write down one exception for each of those self-limiting beliefs. And what this is going to do is help disprove to your mind that your self-limiting beliefs are an absolute rule. Now, as a quick example, maybe you had the belief that you're always going to be poor. So what I want you to do, this, this may take longer than 30 seconds, but I want you to think of someone. It doesn't necessarily have to be someone you know. It could be someone famous. Someone who started out poor and then became successful through hard work. Something that really breaks that belief. Because when you have those self-limiting beliefs, you honestly believe that they are a hard, fast rule and there's nothing you can do to break up. So this exercise is very important. I'm going to give you 30 seconds here, but you may want to pause the video for a little bit longer than that. Spend some quality time on this. Find examples that will disprove those beliefs. So I'll put up 30 seconds here again, and I'll see you shortly. So welcome back again. It's been about 30 seconds there or longer if you pause the video. So this is a really, really powerful exercise. This is one that my mentor actually showed me way back in the day and I chose not to do it. I chose not to take it seriously and I went through a long period of hardship and heartache before I finally got it. But when I got it and I understand it and I applied it, this is why I really, really, really do want to share this with you. And I hope you've gone through each of those exercises. You should have those three lists there. You should have your self-limiting beliefs. You should have a list of desires and have them matched up. Then you should also have one more list of exceptions that disproves all of those. So like I said, there's four components to this process. The last component, component pardon me, just made up a new word. The last component is visualization. You really want to take the time to visualize your goals. So take those desires, those desires that you want, that were being held back by those beliefs before, and I want you to take the time to really think about them. In fact, if you're sitting in your office, if you're somewhere comfortable right now, maybe you're at home in front of the computer, maybe it's a place that you spend a lot of time, I want you to just relax a little bit, take a deep breath in, and see yourself. Step outside of yourself for a second. I want you to actually see yourself maybe looking at a computer screen. And on that computer screen, you're looking at your bank account. And when you look at your bank account, you see a certain number there that represents your personal idea for success. I want you to sit back, take a deep breath in, inhale, 
and exhale, I want you to start to notice the sounds around you. Notice the things in your environment. Do you notice that your window's open? Is there a nice breeze rolling in? Can you smell the fresh baking in the other room? Do you hear the birds chirping outside? Do you hear the kids playing outside in the park next door? Visualize every little detail. It's very important to be very specific. And as you're sitting there with your eyes closed, you think to yourself, it was so easy to achieve that goal. I achieved that goal so easily by doing this specific action. And I want you to insert whatever action first comes to your mind there. And it is going to be personal to you. And I want you to notice how your body feels how much at peace you are, how great you feel about having already accomplished your goal. It feels good, doesn't it? It feels good to accomplish a specific goal that you set out for yourself. And you've already accomplished it. So this is a very, very powerful technique. You're gonna have to pardon me, I gotta grab a little bit of water here. My voice is going kind of hoarse. <clears throat> so any time you can spend visualizing your goals, not as some distant desire, but as something that you've achieved now or that you have achieved and you're sitting there basking in how easy it was, you're going to find those self-limiting beliefs of things that you think you can't do, they don't exist anymore. They're gone. They're wiped out and the great thing is, you're never going to believe them again. Because right now in this exercise, you just proved that they're not true. Final point I want to make here is that while you're in this state, you know exactly what you need to do. When you were visualizing that, you knew what steps that you took to achieve that success. And that's something that you need to do right now. You need to take action because your subconscious mind, it already knows what it needs to do to achieve that specific goal. Work with it. Follow your gut instinct, if you will, but take action on it. Because <clears throat> as we think about these things, as we believe that they're true, our brains are actually already working in the background trying to validate why they're true. And you know what? It's going to pull on resources. It's going to pull on experiences. It's going to make connections and you're absolutely going to believe that they're true and you're going to start seeing this stuff manifest into your life. It's going to be incredible. Don't just take my word for it. Do the exercise. Do the visualization and see what I'm talking about. This is true. So all in all, take time each day to do something for yourself. You have to. We're, we're always busy. We always have a thousand things to do every day. We're always busy. Find that one thing you enjoy. You know, personally, I would recommend picking up a book. Read for at least 30 minutes a day. And it's especially powerful if it's in an area that you're looking to personally develop in, whether it's in mindset training, whether it's in how to achieve success or how to achieve something that's going to help you fulfill your goals. That's great. Do that for 30 minutes a day and your mindset will change even faster. So make sure you take care of your health. Make sure you eat healthy, make sure you eat good food, make sure you get lots of sleep, lots of rest, drink lots of water, or else you end up with a croaky voice like this, and you're going to break through. So take action. Take action right now. It doesn't matter how big or how little it is, you will achieve your goals. You can do this, because I believe in you.